Hi, I started my journey 12 years ago in the markets when I first started working at Zeroda when they were still a startup. Uh, after learning the business side of things, I moved on and had to become a full-time trader. And as you can imagine, I lacked the capital to be a full-time trader. Um, I got a reality check and I moved on from there as well to work at a London-based prop trading firm called Futures First. Now, Futures First was recruiting traders from India to trade in uh, global markets on various exchanges such as NYMEX, Intercontinental Exchange and the CME Group. Uh, it was an eye-opening experience for me because the trading infrastructure and the seriousness with which they were approaching the markets were starkly different from what I had witnessed uh, in my earlier days at, uh, when I was working at a brokerage. Uh, so me being part of the company, have seen, I had seen uh, both sides uh, and I really wanted to uh, help Indian traders get the best experience. I wanted to bring it up to global standards. And it was a dream for me to one day start a brokerage uh, which will provide these things and help make trading much better and will equip traders uh, with what they really need. So I quit my job there and um, I went ahead and I applied for a broking license at NSE. And at the time I was 25 years old and thankfully they gave it to us. So uh, we set up a discount broking firm called Fires and we have had a technology first approach which allows us to provide the best trading tools and trade execution. I first came across uh, the markets when I stumbled upon CNBC uh, while I had bunked school and I was watching television and I asked people about what this thing is and how, how does it really work and why are the prices fluctuating on the ticker tape and I didn't really find any answers. So when I turned 18 years old, I opened a DMAT account with a large broker and I randomly started trading stocks. Um, and at the time, anything that I bought would go up and people were flipping IPOs and making tons of money. Um, it was uh, it was great. And I had actually thought that I found the gold mine uh, until the markets crashed like crazy in 2008. Um, and when it did happen, I was really confused and intrigued as to uh, why such a thing can happen and and how can everything go upside down because of a real estate mortgage crisis uh, that happened in another country, uh, which can make our markets go down by 65, 70%. And it just seemed really crazy. And I needed to find an answer. And actually that drove me towards technical analysis. Uh, I still remember I came across this book that was written by Steve Nissen. It was called... Uh, Japanese candlestick charting techniques or something and and it was crazy the it, it introduced me to a completely different way of looking at the markets uh, as it stressed on the psychological aspects that were responsible um, and which can make the markets move and that was really a revelation and uh, I passionately studied the markets tech, uh, the technical analysis uh, for the next few years and yeah, it, it's, uh, it's really helped me a lot. And I really think that it is very useful for traders. And in fact, technical analysis is more useful to traders than fundamentals because it helps you to determine the timing of the trade and the time in a trade. So if you can, if you can uh, develop an act for it, then it's extremely useful uh, in the long run. It can make you successful. We all know that we live in a world that is filled with uncertainty and rapid change. So when we look at the markets and movements in stocks and commodities, it often creates more confusion than it solves. Technical analysis is like a torch. It gives you light in the darkness so that you can navigate through it and make sense of all the chaos. Um, at the summit, I will be talking about how retail traders deal with VUCA markets using risk management and technical analysis. 
I think the basic concepts of technical analysis have stood the test of time. Uh, for instance, if you look at the Dow theory, it was created a hundred years ago, still relevant. The Elliott wave principle, 50 years ago, still relevant. MACD and RSI several decades ago and is still very widely used. This is despite the technological progress and n number of indicators being available today. What we have observed at FIRES is that clients like to use classical analysis to trade. So they use stuff like Bollinger Bands, Moving Averages, uh, EMA, MA Crossovers, basic stuff, price patterns, mainly candlesticks, uh, Heikinashi charts, and a few of them use uh, the newer indicators, but primarily people are sticking to classical analysis of stocks uh, using technicals and fundamentals, not so much. Given that is the first CMT, the first CMT summit in India, it's uh, I'm really excited to meet all the analysts and the gurus of the world to learn from them and to take selfies with them. It's going to be amazing fun. I'm looking forward to it.